plaintiff, Marcus Simmons, is suing his neighbor for an unpaid loan and damaged property. Marcus says the defendant was such a nuisance that Marcus had to put up a do not disturb sign on his door to keep him away. Cue the defendant. Defendant Jeffrey Coster admits he had a lot of time on his hands because he has not been able to get a job since serving in Iraq. All right, the plaintiff is suing his neighbor for an unpaid loan and the value of property. Marcus, state your case. The defendant and I, we met in the summer of 08, and uh, right away, this guy just starts making noise because he moved across the street from me. And right away, he starts making noise, becoming a nuisance, you know, got traffic in and out all the time, just disturbing oh, my not, peace. That's not true. What kind of noise? What kind just of all noise? types of noise. You know, he'd be outside playing the guitar all out, like everybody in the apartment complex want to hear him at 4 or 5 in the morning. Don't nobody want to hear that? You play <clears> at 4 or 5 in the morning? Yes, Your Honor. In an apartment complex? Yes, you're right. Right across the street from me. Why? Because he ain't got nothing else better to do. Well, how much <laughs> sleeping? It was the weekend and everybody was out. And At all four in the morning? I bet a lot of people were, were sleeping. I was playing music. Oh, I was up. okay. I'd... We're going in circles here, but okay. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Now, Your Honor, I've, I've met a lot of sorry people in my life, but this guy, by far, is the sorriest individual I've ever met in my life. Why? He, he's extremely needy, always asking for things, always coming over, no, wanting to borrow no, things. No, Yeah, you are. He, he's, no, a, he, he's always, wanting, to, he's always no. wanting things. So put a sign on your door. That's what Don't I did. I put, me, I put a do not disturb sign on my door. You did in the uh, yes. apartment? You know, he, he interrupts my life constantly. You know, there'd be times I'd have a lady over, you know, and finally get oh. her in the mood, you know, to try to get oh, busy. Oh, no, here we and, go. And then, you know, I, you know. Well, you can get her in the mood. He can sit out Outside the window, play the yeah, guitar. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, you could use them. <laughs> but you know, I, I, it'd be, it'd be about ready to go down, and then as soon as it's about to go down, it's him knocking at my door, and I, you know, it, the the thing that's annoying about it is, it's, he wouldn't want anything important. It, he, you know, I answer the door, Jeff. What do you want? Can I get an apple? Hey, Marcus, can I get some bottled water? Hey, Marcus, oh, can no, I use your computer? True, that's not true. Let me ask you a question. When did you meet him? I met him in the summer of last year. But you just became fast friends? Well, he, he introduced himself to me, and, you know, he told me his story about how he went to Iraq and how he fought in the Army and got You were in Iraq? Yes, yes, Your Honor. You served there? Yes, Your Honor. Well, well thank you from everybody in this courtroom. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm sure it wasn't easy. No, Your Honor. It wasn't. Go ahead. So... It got so bad with this guy. Why is it getting bad? You Be become fast friends. Yeah, I mean, I respected him right away when he right. told me his story. Just as I did, yeah. just as everyone Yeah, did. just as I And, you know, I mean, that, that story, he kind of got me. I'm like, okay, you know, that's cool. You fighting Iraq. We became friends. But then, you know, he started to get comfortable with me. Are you living alone? Okay, yes, so you come back from Iraq and you end up living in the apartment building where Marcus lives. Yes, Your Honor. You live alone? Do you live alone? Yeah. Yes, Sometimes. Ma yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> All right. So he knocks on your door now and then because he's, he no, wants to be No, it, it, it's, it's not now and then, Your Honor. All okay. the time. Yes, for every you, Are you working, Jeffrey? No, Your Honor. Mm. You looking for a job? Yes, Your Honor. He can't get one. No, Your Honor. Oh, that's sad. <clears throat> are you on his floor? Well, no, it, it's not like that. It's just like apartments next to each other, and he lives across the street. Oh, I right see. Right across, so he can see, you know, he would see when I pull up. As soon as I pull up. Oh, boy. <laughs> see, I'm t and and I, honest to God, as soon as I pull up, he's walking no, up. Hey, Marcus, no. you know? Oh, okay. no. no, man, I don't feel like being bothered today. Okay. You know, I want to take a nap. Jeffrey, why can't you get a job? Are you disabled? Yes. What happened? I was in a collision over in Iraq. Uh, I was in a convoy in downtown Baghdad. And the truck in front of me was hit. On my, this is my second tour in Iraq. It was hit, and the back of my truck ended up, we ended up crushing into it, and it crumpled up the, our, our uh, truck. And it ended up uh, fracturing my neck and my Ooh. lower back, and also had some dural hematoma on my brain from it. And I was care flighted to Germany, and later they found a UPJ obstruction in my kidney over, and I had to get seven surgeries on my kidney. Seven surgeries on your kidney? Yes, Your Honor. And then I was flown back to where I was stationed in the United States to, to heal. Wow, how long did that take from uh, what had over happened? Over seven to eight months to heal mm -hmm. over that period of time. Wow. Were you on pain medication? Yes, Your Honor. Were you addicted to pain medication? I was, but I, I had help for that, Your Honor. You went to rehab? Yes, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> how long were you in rehab? Um, oh, 32 days, Your Honor. You still addicted? No, Your Honor. 
Sure. Yes, Your Honor. Because I'll get you help if you are. No, I'm, I'm not. Okay. I'm, I'm good, Your Happy Honor. to help you. Thank you, Your Honor. Do you have any family, Jeffrey? Yes, Your Honor. Where are they? They're, they're in Ohio. Okay, but you're, you're living where? I'm, I'm living in Ohio. Okay, but, but you're living alone? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. We live in the same city, and my family does come by and mm -hmm. help me out and take me places because mm -hmm. I do not have a vehicle. So you don't, you're, you're not working. Is, is the VA helping you in any way no, to get Your a Honor, job? No, I've been fighting with them for my disability since I've been out. The Army is supposed to help me get the disability before I even get out of the service. And I was, I, uh, I had a claim form sent in and they have not, I've not received anything. They've, they've ordered me to go to appointments. I've been to all of my appointments and I still haven't received any word on any compensation for my disability. How could you not be getting compensation? You I, were injured in Iraq. Yes, ma'am. And I was also, I get, I have, I'm medically retired from the army and I receive a medical retirement right. for a disability, but right. the VA, the claim form or my claim has not been processed or been gone through in the VA yet. It's been over almost two years now. You know what? I'm going to do everything I can to help you with that. Thank if you, you are Honor. entitled uh, to money, you should be getting that money. Thank you, All right. And, and I'm going to do that for you. All Thank right. You. But that's separate and apart from what's going on here. But you know, that's, it's very disturbing the people <clears throat> who work in the armed forces and in fact get injured and then have seven surgeries come back and then can't get a job. Uh, aside from your situation, I mean, uh, that is unconscionable. It's unacceptable. And if there is some bureaucratic problem, we're going to help you get through it. Thank All you, right? Your Honor. All right. Now, what are you suing? You're welcome. What are you suing for? He's oh. bothering you. <clears throat> yeah, yeah All he, right. he bothers me. But, um. I, <laughs> you don't. Well, no, he's a nice Honor. guy. I mean, I'm, I don't I'm think I'm not he taking that away from him. He's just annoying, you know? It's like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, he's not, I'm not going to sit here and say he's a mean, you know? He's a good, he's a good guy. He's just annoying, you know? He so. sounds like Kramer from <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> just just like. without the hair, Your Honor. Yeah, without the hair. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what are you suing him for? Okay, well, um, October of last year, I got fired from my job. Why? And, oh, it was some bull crap. Um, it was bull. And they had to settle with me. And, um, I got the settlement um, was February of this year, and okay. he found out about it, and then dollar signs goes off in his head. Uh. So, you know, he, he gives me a story about why he needs to borrow some money, and at first I told him, no, because I don't like loaning people my money. And then, you know, I, I, I do, I feel bad for him, so I loaned him 3500 You did? Yeah. <laughs> I loaned him What'd you do? You asked him for 3500 Yes, I did, Your Honor. Why? Why did you need 3500 At the time, I didn't have no money coming in because of my, because I wasn't able to get a job because of the disability, and I had bills that were stacked up. I was about to get evicted out of my apartment complex. I was, I had, uh, child support back, back. But you're retired because of an injury. You do get full benefits. I, yes, Your Honor, I get, uh, like, health care. I have health care through that. But you're, you're not getting any, any retirement. You've been discharged. You've been honorably, honorably dis discharged. Yes, Your Honor. How much are you getting a month? Close to, almost, not even $1,000 a month. That's it? Yes, Your Honor. All right, go ahead. So you borrowed 3500 from him. For what? To pay off all, like, m to three months of rent, to pay off back pay and child support that I owed in rearages, and to pay off as for, like, groceries, yeah, food. Food, you know, living. Everything. Because I didn't have, honestly, I had no money, Your Honor. What about your family? My family helped me out as much as they could, but Why my family struggled. Why can't you get a job too. with McDonald's or anywhere? I, I, had, I had two interviews, one for McDonald's and one for Taco Bell, and they said I was too high risk for, with my disability to work for them. What? But your disability meaning your neck injury? And, and my brain injury, my subdural hematoma, because I had a yeah, stroke. Yeah, well, people have subdurals and they go down. As long as you didn't die from it, you're, it's over. I the subdural hematoma is swelling, all right, under the skull and over the brain. They said yes? it was too high risk, and they didn't want nothing to do with me, Ron. Get a letter from the doctor that does it. What would you do, come in with your medical records? No. Go to McDonald's and just apply for a job. You don't have to tell them. I didn't want to lie, Your Honor. They don't ask you about your medical history. They ask if you can flip a burger. <laughs> all right, go ahead. You give them 3500 yeah, I, I gave him thirty five hundred because you know I felt bad for him. Did he you get? Do you have evidence that you did? Yes. And you well, agree? You agree? You took thirty five hundred? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Well, actually, he it's more because he damaged property of mine, and I have statements from a mutual friend of ours about how he borrows money, oh. never wants to pay it back. He uses the whole little Iraq thing to get over on people too. 
You know? That's not true, Your Honor. He uses the whole little injury to get over on people. Did, did you borrow money from someone else and not pay them back? I, no, I paid them back, Your Honor. What are you talking about? What, what am I looking at here? That, that statement right there is a mutual friend of ours who we borrowed money from, and... It just took me a little while to pay it back, Your Honor. At the beginning of August, I inquired about my money. He told me he had a $20,000 check coming from the government. At this point, I stopped believing anything Jeff had to say. To this day, I still have not received any money, and Jeff has not received any of the checks. Jeff doesn't like paying in for anything. What's going on, Jeff? I did, I did pay off the money. I have no proof of me paying him. Paying who? This guy or Eric him? Bess. And Eric I've also Bess? paid him. He hasn't paid me anything, Your Honor. Yes, I have. So lie. Prove it. I don't have the proof. I don't have any receipts, You knew Your you Honor. were coming to court today, Jeff. I know, Your Honor. Look, you're a military guy. You get it. It's all about the facts, the evidence. You, you understand it better than anyone. Yes, I do, Your Honor. Okay. How much does he owe you? He owes me 4500 Why 45 I thought because, it was 35 No, it's 45 because he damaged my PlayStation and my girl... Your PlayStation? Yeah, yeah, he damaged my play. He broke it. I don't know what he did to it. He, he asked to borrow it once when I was going... Uh, did you break his PlayStation? Yeah, yes. you did. Yeah, I could tell. my PlayStation. Okay. How much is a PlayStation worth? It's $400. That's how much I spent for it. Okay, but 35 and 4 is 39 Yeah, and then I had got a, a Clarion, uh, was a DVD slash CD player for my car. My girlfriend got it for me for, uh, she, she uh, signed a statement, too. I had got it talk for... Talk to me. Just talk to me. It was like, a, it was a Valentine's Day gift, oh, and no. she got it for me. I asked him to install it for me because he says he's a certified mechanic, and I was going to pay him for it, but... He broke that too. Is that how you get to 45? Yeah, he actually owes me more than 45. I'm trying to help him out. He, he owes Stop me way. Stop trying to help people out. You won't have to go to court. <laughs> now, why should you not pay him? Marcus is a very immature, very immature college Here we kid. Go. Here we He's go. got three different kids by three different girls. Your Honor, uh, for the record, I take care of all three of my children. And um, my kids want to be around me. His kid don't even want to be around How him. old is your child, Jeffrey? Uh, he will be six in November, Your Honor. I can okay. tell you why, too. I'm afraid to ask. Because <laughs> he's always trying to borrow money from his kid. Oh, come. Look, you got three kids? Yes, ma'am. Keep your money and give it to your kids, OK? You shouldn't be giving money away, you know? And I'm sure you were very touched by his story. His story is unbelievable, all right? Now, I think what you've got to understand is you've been through a traumatic situation. I'm going to do everything I can to help you get whatever benefits you should be getting. But I think that you've got to try uh, to recognize that you can't be borrowing from people because somebody's going to get angry with you. Yes, all right, Your we're Honor. talking about a lot of money here. All right, a lot of money over there and a lot of money here. Um, the, the issue of whether you are responsible for property damage and breach of contract, I don't think there's any question. The plaintiff has proven his damages. Uh, you know, we are, we are very cognizant of your situation, but at the same time, you do owe him the money. Verdict for the plaintiff. So we're Good luck Thank to you. you. I, I still want to be his friend. I still want to have a friendship with him. He's a good guy, and he did help me in my time of need. And I would still like to remain friends, and I'd like to keep it, keep the relationship going. As long as he just keeps it real and don't be trying to get over on me or nothing like that no more, I mean, we'll be cool.